What's up, YouTubers? I am back with Nora and Kelsey, and we are going to be working on some number models today. Are you girls ready? Mm -hmm. yes. Okay, so first things first, I have this board that says equals one. Why do you think that's important? Mm -hmm. Why do you think, Kelsey? Because if you, didn't, if you don't know what it is, how can you like solve the whole thing? Right, so I have to really make sure I know what one hole is for me to be able to figure out what the model is representing, right? So we're gonna start off with... You write on your board, what would this be? If this is one hole, write on your board, what would this be? Excellent. So if this is one hole, then this is what, ladies? Two holes. Two holes, okay. Erase. I'm not going to change my hole yet. I'm going to keep this as my hole. If this is one hole, what does this piece represent? Give that one a try. Don't count this. This is just telling you what the hole is, so what's on here? Hey, Nora, can you write it as a fraction, too? Kelsey, how many of these make this? Ten. So then it would be one what? Ten. Yeah. Okay, so, Nora, can you write it as a fraction with a numerator of one? All right, excellent. So if this is one whole, then this piece has to represent what, ladies? One tenth. One tenth. Because it's one piece out of 10 of this size piece that makes one whole, right? Now, Nora, you also had this fraction. How would you read that? Um, a hundred thousandths. Kelsey, is, is she also right there? Is that also one hundred thousandths? Mm -hmm. If I took one hundred, wouldn't ten one hundreds get me up to a thousandth? Yeah. So these two fractions are what? What do you call them if they have the same value? Equal. They're e equivalent. Equivalent. Very good. So if you're writing one tenth as a decimal, you just want to make sure that the one is in the what? Tenths. Tenths place. So is this one tenth? Yes. Is. Hmm, what if I didn't do that? What if I just did this? Is this one tenth? Yes. Is that one tenth? Yes. Is that one tenth? No. Why not? Because the one has to be in the tenth spot. Right, or else it's not one tenth, right? Okay, erase. I'm gonna try to trick you guys. It's not ever really a trick, it's just really, I'm just trying to make y'all think. <laughs> when you guys start getting really good, I like to be a little bit evil, right? You've been through the evil part. You've been through my evil? It wasn't that bad, Nora. You kind of liked my evil a little bit, right? Okay, this is still one hole, right? Okay, what's the value of this piece if this is one hole? Show me on your whiteboards. Write it all the ways you can think of. Write, those, write that decimal a couple different ways. See if you can try to trick me, Nora, but make sure they're all the right value. Kelsey, you let me know if you need help, okay? Okay. So, Kels, hmm. how many, look at this relationship here. How many times does this block fit into one hole? A thousand. So then this would be one out of? A thousand. So look at your fraction. Does that match what you just told me? 
Good. So how do you read that fraction? Uh, one thousand. Okay. Now make it a decimal. Make me another decimal that says one thousand. Can you think of another way? Now, is that still just one thousandth, or is that one and one thousandth? One and one thousandth. Yeah, but what if you didn't put the zero in front of the decimal point? What if you just went, like, decimal zero, zero? Would that still be one thousand? Yes. Yeah? What if you, on the one below, wrote this whole first part out the same way you put it the first time? Write that again. And then put a zero after it. Is that still 1,000? Yes. Okay. All right, Kelsey. So you got 1,000th, right? Mm -hmm. How do you need to help? What can we do to make sure this is a thousandth? What do we need to put right here? A zero? Yeah. So the zeros that are between the decimal point and your digit, they do matter because they're holding that place, right? Mm -hmm. Because if you don't have digits there, they might just think it's one tenth. Does that make sense? But you can add zeros in front of the decimal point. You can add zeros behind the one thousandth, and it would still be one thousandth. Does that make sense? Yes. So you could put a zero back here. You could put a zero up here. And either way, it's still one thousandth, right? Yes. Okay, so it's one thousandth. All right, so let's try to trick you guys again. All right? If this is one whole, write me numbers to show what this piece would represent. those both have the same value no? so which one is definitely true this one okay How many of these make this? Ten. Make the whole thing or just one floor? Uh, just one floor. So then it's not just one floor. How many floors is it? Ten. So if there's ten of these in each layer and there's ten layers, how many would be in the whole thing? Wouldn't that be like ten layers of ten? So 10 tens? Yeah. So how many of these would make this? What is 10 Basically, tens? A no. hundred? A hundred, right? So if this is one and I need a hundred of this size piece to make this, then this would be one out of 100, right? So then I would write that you had it the first time, then yeah. you changed it, Kels. No. Trust your brain. No, I meant to put it like that, but then I'm, I forgot because I'm so used to like 100. I've never done a thousand before. You good? So I how do I say this fraction, ladies? How 100. do I say it? One hundred. Then how would I write that as a decimal? <clears throat> Where would the one have to go? What place? What place, Nora? In the middle. Hmm. And the. Uh, in the middle, you said? What's the middle? I don't know what the middle is. In between the tenth and the thousandth. So in what place? In the hundredth. In the hundredth place, right? So there's ones, tenths, hundredths, thousandths. So it'll be one here. Is that what you mean? The reason why I don't want to just say the middle is because, you know, decimals, they can go on forever. Can I go to a so, million? Yeah, they go, like, every time. You know how, like... 
when you have whole numbers, you can just keep grouping them. 10 makes one, 10 makes one, 10 make, makes one. When you're going the other way and you're dividing by 10, you can keep chopping those pieces into 10 parts and they get very, very small. But if you just say the middle, that would not help if you had another decimal here because it wouldn't be the middle. Does that make sense? But this is one hundredth of the whole and this is one hundredth. Is this also one hundredth here? Yes. Is this one hundredth? No. No, no because that's one what? Ten tenths. Is that one one hundredth? Yes. Yes, because the one is in the hundredths, right? All right, I'm going to try to trick you guys. <laughs> I'm switching the whole. All right, so now the flat is going to represent one whole. You ready? So the flat is one whole. I'm going to keep this piece. Is this piece going to have the same value now or a different value? Now that I changed my one whole. Different value. A different value. Go ahead and show me what you guys think about this piece now that I changed the value of one whole. And write it as a fraction and a decimal. Where would the one go, Nora? What place? Okay. All right, my loves. This piece would represent what now? A tenth, right? One tenth. One tenth, right? All right, how about... Now write me for this piece. Wait, them. Not both of them yet. That's my super challenge at the end. Do as a fraction and a decimal for me. Okay, so you said it's one hundredth, right? Is your one in the hundredths place? I like to do my fraction first, it just helps me out. Nice, Kelsey. All right, so if this is one whole, now what place is your one in? A tenth. Is this one tenth? If this is one whole, then this piece is one what, ladies? Ten this one is one tenth of that whole? Wait, one hundredth, right? So my one needs to go in the hundredths place, right? Yes. All right, I'm gonna change the whole one more time, then I'll give you a super hard one, okay? Changing my whole to this now. If that equals one, is this still going to be one hundredth? Yep. Show me what it would be if this is one whole. Nora. All right, Kels, what's the relationship? A bit hundred. Look at this and look at this, look at the size, and what can you tell me? What do you notice? That if there's ten of them, that'll make ten, um, one ten thick. There you go. So then if it's one tenth, then what should your denominator be? Of that fraction. Oh, ten. Yeah. There you go. Alright. So 
If this is one whole, then this would be one tenth, right? Yeah. Or one tenth, right? Yes. You guys ready for the super hard? Mm -hmm. Okay, here's my super challenge. I'm gonna keep this as one whole. No. <laughs> oh, this is a I'm super, super I'm challenge. More. Super challenge for She's my lay days. I'm so mean, I'm so mean. Okay, this is the last one, okay? Be very careful because I'm trying to trick you. All right, this is still one hole. What is this? Are those two together? I don't know. You guys can talk about it with each other if you want. Do you guys want to work together? Yes. Okay, talk to each other about what do you see. She's already done this to me. But here's the thing. Last time, that thing, that was a thousand. And that was the same. Okay, so. Let me know if y'all need a hint, okay? Hint, hint. Hint? Okay, do you know what one hole looks like? Yes. Can you find one hole in this model? Yes. Show me where it's at. Okay, so if this is one hole, no. as soon as you see one hole, that should help you see everything else. No. Okay. So if this is one hole, how many holes can you see? Do you have more than one hole or less than one hole? Uh, more. How many holes do you see? If this is one hole, how many of these are here? Ten. So isn't this ten then? Yeah. So ten holes plus another hole would be what? Eleven. And another one would be? Twelve. So I have twelve holes? Yes. So put twelve in front of your decimal. Okay? In front of your decimal because it's holes, right, Nora? Not behind your decimal. Would it go in like twelve? Yes, like exactly. Like twelve dollars. Because that's, isn't that going to be 12 holes? If this is one hole, then this would be 12 holes, right? Yes. So it would be 12, which would be 1, 10, and 2 ones, right? Yes. And then, okay. So this piece is how much of the hole? 10. ten. It's 1 tenth. 1 tenth. So then if it's 1 tenth plus 1 tenth plus 1 tenth plus 1 tenth, how many tenths is that? Four. four tenths. Do you know how to put four tenths onto your 12 holes? Mm -hmm. Show me. One tenth. It's how many tenths? There you go. So this would represent 12 and four tenths. Dun, 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 dun. All right, y'all are your race. I got to get y'all back to class. Thanks so much.